All right, quick check. Have wizards ever been to the moon? What? Draco said. It was pretty clear the thought had never occurred to the boy. Go to the... It's just a... His finger pointed at the little pale thingy in the sky. You can't apparate to somewhere you've never been, and how would anyone get to the moon in the first place? Hold on, Harry said to Draco. I'd like to show you a book I brought with me. Harry turned the pages of the book until he found the picture he wanted to show to Draco. The one with the white, dry, cratered land and the suited people and the blue-white globe hanging over it all. That picture. The picture, if only one picture in all the world were to survive. That, Harry said, his voice trembling because he couldn't quite keep the pride out, is what the Earth looks like from the moon. Draco's finger moved over to one of the suits. What are those? His voice starting to waver. Those are human beings. They are wearing suits that cover their whole bodies to give them air, because there is no air on the moon. That's impossible, Draco whispered. There was terror in his eyes and utter confusion. No muggle could ever do that. How? Harry took back the book, flipped the pages until he found what he sought. This is a rocket going up. The fire pushes it higher and higher until it gets to the moon. Flip pages again. This is a rocket on the ground. That tiny speck next to it is a person. Draco gasped. Going to the moon costs the equivalent of... probably around 2,000 million galleons. Draco choked. And it took the efforts of probably more people than live in all of Magical Britain. You're telling the truth, Draco said slowly. But, but... How, without wands or magic? It's a long story, Draco. Science doesn't work by waving wands and chanting spells. It works by knowing how the universe works, on such a deep level that you know exactly what to do in order to make the universe do what you want. If magic is like casting an Imperius on someone to make them do what you want, then science is like knowing them so well that you can know exactly what to say in order to make them think it was their own idea all along. It's a lot more difficult than waving a wand, but it works when wands fail, just like if the Imperius failed you could still try persuading a person. And science builds from generation to generation. You have to really know what you're doing to do science. And when you really understand something, you can explain it to someone else. The greatest scientists of one century ago, the brightest names that are still spoken with reverence, their powers are as nothing to the greatest scientists of today. There is no equivalent in science to your lost arts that raised Hogwarts. In science, our powers wax by the year, 